Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you what you need to do before you want to try to use your camera on your laser machine. Mainly, there are two things need to be done. You need to calibrate your camera lens and you need to calibrate camera alignment. So let's get started. Firstly, we need to connect the wires, plug it in, and here's our lightroom interface. We need to go to laser tools, find calibrate camera lens, select our camera, standard lens, now you have your camera view. Let's go to next. Okay, so Lightburn offers a circle pattern for us to do the lens calibration. So we need to download and go to this link. We save this file on your computer and just print it out. Now we already did that. You see that? This is our pattern card. Okay, now we're ready to do some calibrations. There will be instructions for us. Just follow it. Put the pattern card on the right place and there will be nine of them. Then we hit capture. You see we have a score here. This is a software performance evaluation for us. If the score is below 0.3, that's ideal. But if less than 1, still okay to go to next. Let's say if you want a better score, a natural even light environment might be helpful and makes it easier for camera to find the pattern. And the rest would just be as same as before. Bottom, left, right, top, bottom right, bottom left, top left, and top right. Okay, now we've finished camera calibration. Time to align the camera. Again, select our camera and next. There is instruction for us. It says we need to put the image below, which is this one, the sample image. It also gives us what size of your material should be and a few options for material choice. So we're going to use MDF board. Let's do autofocus. All right, and then you need to tell Leadburn the information about your material, like thickness, speed, power, etc. Now, I would suggest you use some materials that you're familiar with the setting parameters. You could try stronger one than usual because we're going to need the result to be very dark, and you will see why later. Now we input these numbers. About the scale, that depends on your material size. We're using a smaller one, so 100 is perfect for me. So now we're ready, and we could click on frame. It looks fine. Let's close the lid. And then let's hit start. And now it's finished. Let's open the lid. Now we have our results. Let's go to next. Capture image. The four corners are pretty clear to me, so let's go to next. Then we just follow instructions. We need to find the center of the four markers as precisely as we can. You can zoom in to see the details pretty clear. Remember earlier I said about we need the result to be darker than usual. Well, that's for now. We get to see this marker more clear. You can zoom in and double click mark the center like maybe here. By the way, if you clicked the wrong place, just hit undo last and then you can try again.
And another important thing is we must follow the numbered order. We go to one, two, three, four. Okay, now we have marked all four corners. Let's go to the next. And now we officially finished the two wizards here. Okay guys, now that we calibrated the camera lens and we aligned the camera, so we're well prepared for the camera using now. In next episode, we will show you how to actually use the camera function. If you're interested, please like this video and follow our channel for the update. See you next time. Bye!